Talking right now with the uh, Carroll Boys at Shuttle Hurdle Relay team down here at the Drake Relays early on this Saturday morning. They start off with Colton Thompson who had the opening leg here. Colton was watching you come out of the blocks today. You look pretty solid. How'd you feel? Um, I felt good out of the blocks right away, you know, and uh, and I was kind of you know, pretty even with like the walking guy to there. But then, uh, you know, once you get the hurdles, you kind of start pulling away, you know, and, and uh, I thought I might have been able to get be a little faster, but overall I thought I felt like I ran pretty good. What did you think was the strength of, of your part of the race today? Um, I don't know, just, just starts. I always try to get a good start, you know, and, and make sure that we're not, like, you know, too far behind that we can't catch up or have a good enough lead where that we can maintain that, you know, and that's always kind of my goal. And today, you know, obviously going against a lot of really fast guys, so that was a little tougher, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I know we try to, try to do. Well, I know you mentioned Waukee. We talked about them at the track meet over in Jefferson the other night. How much did you feel like it helped having them next to you now that you ran against them? Oh, yeah, it helped a lot because, you know, in a lot of the meets you've had, you know, where we, we take the lead early and then we keep the lead so we don't really have to have anybody to, to run against you know but with Waukee right there right especially right next to us in our you know right in lane three like that it was it was really nice to have somebody really pushing us and trying to catch up to them and that, I'm sure that really helped our time a lot. How much did it help you having been here before having run this event at this track maybe not here but you know at this track? Yeah that, that helped a lot because I remember at state last year you know coming in I had no idea what to expect I was real nervous you know it was kind of kind of intimidating you know running the on the blue track and everything, but but today it was just kind of relaxed and easy and just like, all right, let's, you know, down to business. I know it's still early in the morning, but what are you hoping to kind of see today? What memories are you hoping to make down here at Drake? Um, just just the whole experience of it's great. You know, we're, we're really looking forward to seeing, like, the, the college professional shuttle hill team, just how fast and smooth they are. You know, that's, compared to us, you know, it's going to be ridiculous. So that's what, kind of what we're looking forward to. What kind of was the, the, the thought coming down here, you know, coming into the morning? What were you thinking about? Is I know you guys stayed down here last night, but as you were heading to the track and kind of getting warmed up this morning, what was really going through your mind? Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's funny you said we stayed here last night because originally we were supposed to leave Carroll about 5 this morning, you know, and try to get here. And thank God we got a room last nice night, so we didn't have to get up so mm -hmm. early. But, but just kind of like we knew we knew we were going to have to cut a lot of time to try to get in finals, you know, and uh, and we did. We cut like half a second, so we're, we're happy about that. But uh but, you know, we knew we were going to, it was a tough competition and we had to really be in our game to, to make an attempt to get into those finals. Well, Colton, I appreciate you joining us. Congratulations on getting down here. Yeah, thanks a lot, Joe. Colton Thompson again. Let's move over here to Peyton Renning, who ran the second leg here today. And Peyton, uh, how'd you feel uh, with the exchange and, and, and getting yourself started today? I felt like I had a good start from when Colton came across the break line. Tried not to leave too early to get us DQ'd, but early enough so we did, didn't fall too far behind Waukee again and just try to catch up with him as much as I could. Feel any pressure coming into this today? A little bit. Just just trying to keep up with those faster teams in our heat. I know uh, Cedar Falls, I think, was in our heat, and they were right right with us for most of the race. And so just, just try to keep up with them. How'd you kind of get yourself relaxed? Just try to clear my mind before the race. Don't think about anything. Just run them. Do you watch Colton when he comes out of the blocks, or are you just focused on getting yourself prepared for your part of the race? Well, I watch him for about four or five hurdles, and then, then I start to get focused on what I'm running and how, how to run those hurdles. How do you think this uh, this leg rent today kind of compared for you compared to the rest of the season? It was one of my better legs. I think I clipped one hurdle, so that might have slowed me down a little bit, but I think it was an overall pretty good leg for me. Talk about the memories you're going to take away from this. What was it like to be down here uh, running at Drake? It was ex really exciting. I mean, seeing all like the college, walking by college athletes and seeing – how, see how, how fast they are going to be watching them, so it'll be fun. Just the experience, like Colton said, too. Is there one team, one hurdler, uh, one athlete down here in any event that you're kind of like, I really want to watch them? Lolo Jones. Lolo That'd Jones? Fun to watch her, yeah. Watch her yeah. run. So, I don't know if we'll get to, though. I think she ran last night. She so. ran last night, absolutely. Yeah. So, well, I tell you what, appreciate you joining us here, Peyton. Best of luck coming up the rest of the way. Thank you. Let's move over to Nate O'Brien now, who ran the third leg here today. Nate, uh, what was it like for you? Uh, I thought it was fine. Uh, like Colton said, uh, me, and, me and Colton both got off the track and we, were, we thought, oh, did, did you feel like you did very well? And they're like, well, it felt good, but it didn't feel like it was our best. But I, I think partial, partial of that was uh, that um, we were running against Waukee. So even though we might have been running some of our fastest times, we were still chasing a team that runs a 56. So it felt like we were doing, we weren't going as hard as we could, but we were probably going, uh, making a good run. Tell us, tell me what you kind of focus on as you're as you're running. Are you just so focused on your steps, or what's kind of going through your mind? Well, I, that's what I was just actually I was thinking about that. Uh, nothing, nothing really. Um, I mean, just finishing, I guess. Um, probably catching your catching the guy in front of you is probably the first thought, first thing to think about, and then uh, second thing is just to get to um, Isaac as fast as possible. 
are you looking then ahead of the exchange zone or and just kind of figuring your steps are right for the hurdles or do you kind of look at each hurdle as you're getting to it um look at each hurdle as i get to it um i, I mean i'm probably the only four stepper here so uh i mean my my uh, steps are pretty consistent whether i whether i try or not so um so yeah i mean i just focus on the next hurdle ahead where did you feel like was the strength for you today uh, the strength, I, I felt like uh, uh, pain coming back at me at a fast speed, I, I had a good start, um, and yeah, I, I feel like my start was probably the best part. As you we got together with Colton, uh, you guys are both on the same end of the track when you're done. What do you guys say to each other? How do you, you know, how do you go about watching Isaac? What kind of goes through your guys' mind at that point? Um, I mean, well, I didn't even see Colton right away, but uh, at that point, we just, we usually don't say anything until we finish, and then once we do finish... We say, oh, that was good, you know, <laughs> just give little compliments after that. But, you know, it's not until Isaac finishes. Well, I tell you what, Nate, appreciate you joining us here today. Thank yep, you very thank much. You. Let's move over now to Isaac Rizelman, who ran the, the anchor leg here today. Uh, Isaac, uh, how do you get mentally prepared as you're watching the other guys go? Because you're that guy that you know that if it comes down to it, has to be the guy that maybe picks up that win, uh, you know, in the last leg. In all honesty, I just don't think that's the my key is because when I think too much I get in trouble and I mess up so I just clear my head and just focus on running my fastest do you watch the other three guys or are you kind of behind the group just kind of focusing on what you got to do to get ready uh, I watch part like I somewhat watch but I keep my mind set on my leg keeping it fast and then once they get across the line and uh Nate's coming at me. I'm just down, focused in the blocks, just ready to go. Feel like you got out of the start and the exchange well? Yes, very well. Talk, take us through your race. You know, take us through how you felt like you ran. I felt like I ran real fast. Probably one of my faster splits of the season so far, but uh, it was just a fast race overall. What do you? What has been your best splits this year? I couldn't even tell you. How much different is it running the shuttle with teammates compared to running like in the individual in the in the one tens? I, to me, it makes it a lot more fun because you have more people to celebrate with when you pull out a win and more people to discuss with what you can do better and you can do better yourself and the team together. Now, when you come over that last hurdle, are you looking at the finish line or do you peek up at that clock to kind of figure out where you're at time-wise? Dead set on the finish line, just pushing my hardest after that last hurdle just to sprint as fast as I can to get there. You guys made up some ground there today. Uh, you kind of were catching walkie a little bit towards the end. Were you thinking about that at all or is it just run? Yeah, you when you're re running, you're looking at the hurdles, and out of the corner of your eye, you can see the jersey up in front of you. You're like, I got to get that guy. What was it like being down here today? Uh, it's an amazing opportunity to just be able to run down here and watch the college athletes run, and maybe a little a couple pros run, and it's just a great opportunity. Uh, now you guys got an opportunity. You're one of the top shuttle teams in 3A. How do you guys start focusing on maybe a possible battle for a state championship yet? Just do what we do best. Just run. I tell you what, appreciate you joining us, Isaac. Congratulations. Carol Boy Shuttle Hurdle Relay Team again down here at Drake.